Hello everyone. Welcome to GS Code. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about mains concept mapping. And in order to discuss mains concept mapping, we'll take a question. And on the basis of that question, we'll try to find out concept involved in that question. That concept will help us approach mains examination. Right. So let us discuss that particular question. Here in this topic, we are going to discuss about the contribution of Indian scientist or achievement of Indian scientist in the field of science and technology. And the question is, how was India benefited from the contributions of Sir M. Vishweshwaraya and Dr. M. S. Swaminathan in the fields of water engineering and agricultural science respectively? Right. So the question is on Dr. M. S. Swaminathan and Sir M. Vishweshwaraya, right? So these are famous scientists in India which have contributed in the field of uh, plant genetics and civil engineering respectively. Dr. M. S. Swaminathan is also known as father of Green Revolution and uh, Sir M. Vishweshwaraya is famous for his technical advice that he has given in various irrigation projects, right? So uh, this question is from the topic of achievements of Indian scientists in the field of science and technology, right? So let us discuss the uh, concept involved in this particular question. Now, this particular uh, topic in the main syllabus from science and technology uh, is more of information based, right? So we won't be able to highlight exact concept involved in this particular topic, right? So achievement of Indians in the field of science and technology is more of information based topic, right? So in this particular question, again, concept as such is, uh, is, is in the form of contributions that have been uh, done by Dr. M. S. Swaminathan and uh, Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. For example, if we talk about the concept involved in this particular question, then it is automatic, automatic sluice gates, automatic sluice gate developed by developed and patented by sir m vishweshwaraya right so that is the concept first secondly plant genetics plant genetics this is the concept for the contribution of dr m s swaminathan Fine. So these two are the important aspects here. So automatic sluice gates are invented and patented by Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. And as a result of these automatic sluice gates, we were able to raise water levels in various irrigation, in various dams without any harm to dams. So before invention of this particular technique of automatic sluice gates, dams were seen as uh, as a major for irrigation. It was seen as a major for, uh, for making water available for irrigation and, and water uh, and drinking water. But it was hardly seen as a flood control mechanism as well. But with the help of automatic sluice gates, we were able to raise water limits, water levels in the dams to an extent uh, that it will also help us in flood control, right? And this was done on the basis of automatic sluice gates invented by Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, right? So these gates helped us increase the levels in the dams without any damage or without any cause of concern to dams, right? And that helps us uh, not only in the irrigation and drinking water, but also helped us in the, uh, in the flood mitigation as well, right? So that is the first concept involved. In the second concept, plant genetic, uh, plant genetics, Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, uh, he standardized the, uh, the plant's genetics or how genes need to be transferred from one plant to another plant. For example, he studied uh, the genes of cultivated potato as well as wild potato and he standardized method for the transfer of genes from wild potato to cultivated potato so that we'll be able to get better, uh, better yield of uh, cultivated potato. Also, 
uh, he carried out phenological changes in rice on the basis of which we were able to get we were able to uh, cultivate rice thrice in a year three crops of rice were possible because of the phenological changes in rice suggested by dr m s swaminathan right so these are the concepts involved in this particular question now let us discuss about the answer how one should approach this particular question right so firstly in the introductory part we will introduce briefly about Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. For example, uh, he is known civil engineer uh, after whose uh, birth anniversary we celebrate uh, Engineers Day in India on 17th of September. And uh, in uh, Dr. M. Uh, sorry, uh, Sir M. Vishweshwaraya has contributed in various irrigation projects and because of his technical advice in those irrigation projects we have not only brought huge land under cultivation but also it has helped us supply water to many cities as well so that way we can introduce in a brief manner about dr m s swaminathan uh, sir m vishweshwara and then dr m s swaminathan about m s dr m s swaminathan so he is is known geneticist in India and he is also known as the father of green revolution because of his contribution in the form of introduction of high yielding varieties of wheat and uh, wheat and rice in India uh, in 1960s which has allowed India to become self-sufficient uh, in the food supply right so that way we in a brief manner we can introduce uh, about Sir M. Vishweshwaraya and Dr. M. S. Swaminathan then we will talk about in the body part we'll talk about ab about the contributions of these two scientists separately firstly about sir m vishweshwaraya so here you can highlight many important uh, achievements for example automatic sluice gate automatic sluice gates so automatic sluice gates were invented by and patented by uh, Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. Then he also carried out construction of KRS Dam, Krishna Raj Sagar Dam in Mandya district of Karnataka. And as a result of which it has not only uh, helped us bring lots of land under cultivation uh, as it supplied irrigation to, to, uh, to that particular agricultural land, it also supplies water to various cities. And most importantly, it also played an important role in water supply for uh, for Kolar gold mines in in Karnataka, right? So that is uh, second. Then he also helped in Hyderabad flood mitigation. Hyderabad flood mitigation. He gave his advice to. Uh, for the construction of dams, various dams, for example, Khadakwasla Dam in uh, in Maharashtra. Also, he uh, played an important role in the protection of Vishakha Patanam port from sea erosion as well. Right. So, role in Vishakha Vishakha Patanam port. Right, Vishakha Patanam port was protected from sea erosion because of the technical advice given by Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. Right, so that way we can write about the contributions of Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. So because of these these contributions, India has benefited a lot from uh, from uh, Sir M. Vishweshwaraya's uh, contribution. Right, so that is first part. In the second part, we will discuss about the contribution of Dr. M. S. Swaminathan. contribution of Dr. M. S. Swaminathan. So, in the contribution of M. Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, we will discuss about, we will discuss about high yield varieties, high yield varieties of wheat and rice were introduced in India and as a result of that, 
we were able to become india was able to become self reliant uh, in 1960s right so that is first then uh, phenological phenological changes in rice which has allowed us to cultivate tea crops of rice annually right then then he also established uh, farmer field schools he also established farmer field schools which has helped farmers to upgrade their understanding of agriculture and on the basis of that they were able to get more cultivation of of various crops right then he also invented various new seed varieties new seed varieties and he also played an important role in the establishment of institutions which are playing important role in today's context for example institutes like national institute uh, national bureau of plant genetics he played an important role in the establishment of uh, institutions like national bureau of plant genetics right so that way we can write contribution of dr m s swaminathan and obviously these these contributions have also helped india uh, to become self reliant in food uh, because when we got independence we were uh, we were dependent on other countries for food supply but with the contribution of dr m s swaminathan india was able to achieve green revolution and thus self sufficiency in food fine so that way we can approach body part of the question then in the conclusion we can uh, again highlight the contributions and uh, benefits in short so because of the contributions of uh, sir m vishweshwaraya we are able to uh, carry out cultivation in huge land because of the availability of irrigation and that has also helped us in the supply of drinking water and because of his vision uh, we are able to use flood mitigation in disaster management even today right secondly uh, for dr m s swaminathan because of his vision we are we have achieved not only self sufficiency sufficiency but also we are uh, one of the important exporter of food uh, food grains and food resources to other countries and thus uh, it has helped us to uh, to play an important role in global food security as well right so that way we can approach this particular question fine now on the basis of this question what are the probable questions that you can expect so you can expect probable questions on different scientists for example there may be a question on dr vikram sarabhai contribution of dr vikram sarabhai or even satish dhawan satish dhawan right so how these scientists contributed and how uh, in space sector india is able to achieve lots of uh, lots of achievements india is able to uh, carry out lots of missions uh, because of the role of these two scientists and even even you are rao you are rao he was also famous space scientist right so similarly there may be a question on let's say dr humi jahangir bhaba homi jahangir bhaba again how india uh, has has increased its nuclear power uh, in the in the energy pool and how it is going to help us achieve let's say net zero uh, emissions by 2070 right so that may be the question similarly there may be question on the contribution of dr apj abdul kalam how contribution of dr apj abdul kalam has helped us uh, achieve uh, self reliance in the context of uh, defense technology especially in missiles right then there may be a question on achievements of let's say uh, satendra nath bose satendra nath bose even jagdish chandra bose and all right so all important scientists are 
uh, uh, on, on those scientist questions may be asked by UPSC in the mains examination, right? So that way you should prepare for, for achievements of Indians in the field of science and technology. Thank you.